Did you know that as many as one-third of people with diabetes will experience a skin-related complication at some point? Imagine waking up one morning and noticing a strange, circular rash on your skin that wasn't there before. Or perhaps you've observed a gradual darkening and thickening of the skin on the back of your neck. These seemingly innocuous changes could actually be your body's way of signaling a more severe condition, diabetes or diabetes mellitus. Your skin is often the first place to manifest signs of high blood sugar, making it an essential tool for early detection and management of diabetes. What are the early signs of diabetes that you might be missing? Stay tuned to find out. In this video, we'll dive into 14 skin warnings that could indicate diabetes, empowering you to take control of your health. By recognizing these signs early, you can work with your healthcare provider to develop a comprehensive management plan and prevent potential complications down the road. Sign number 14. Granuloma annulare is a skin condition marked by the appearance of raised, flesh-colored, or reddish bumps that form circular or arc-shaped patterns. Although the rash generally does not cause pain, some individuals may experience mild itching. It's important to know that granuloma annulare isn't contagious and can't be passed from one person to another. This condition often resolves on its own within a few months without needing treatment. The exact causes of its development are not completely known, but inflammation is thought to be a key factor. Granuloma annulare has been linked to various medical conditions, such as diabetes, autoimmune disorders, thyroiditis, and high cholesterol hyperlipidemia. While the precise connection between these conditions and granuloma annulare is not fully known, their association suggests a potential shared underlying mechanism or predisposing factors. Generally, granuloma annulare is a benign condition. However, in rare instances, it may be linked to certain types of cancer. These instances are extremely uncommon and require further investigation and specialized medical attention for accurate diagnosis and management. Sign number 13, eruptive xanthomatosis, is a skin condition marked by the appearance of small, pimply, waxy bumps on various parts of the body, including the hands, feet, arms, legs, and buttocks. These bumps usually do not cause significant pain, but may induce mild itching in some cases. Importantly, eruptive xanthomatosis is not contagious, reassuring patients about its non-infectious nature and highlighting the need for personalized management strategies. Sign number 12, acanthosis nigricans is a condition characterized by darkened skin patches that commonly appear on the neck, armpits, groin, and areas with skin folds. While the exact cause is unknown, it is closely connected to insulin resistance, which is a major factor in diabetes. This condition is also seen in individuals who are overweight or obese and those with metabolic conditions like polycystic ovary syndrome and Cushing's syndrome. Importantly, acanthosis nigricans is not contagious and often clears up on its own within a few months. The underlying mechanism is thought to involve inflammation, which may be related to conditions like diabetes, autoimmune disorders, thyroiditis, hyperlipidemia, and very rare forms of cancer. Sign number 11, necrobiosis lipoidica. Necrobiosis lipoidica is an uncommon inflammatory condition that primarily affects individuals with diabetes, including both type 1 and type 2. It is characterized by small, red, raised patches, usually on both shins, but these patches can also develop on other parts of the body, like the hands or trunk. These lesions often start as single or multiple patches that gradually enlarge and merge, forming larger, irregularly shaped areas with well-defined red borders. They frequently have a yellowish center and visible blood vessels. The exact cause of necrobiosis lipoidica is not well understood, but it is believed to be related to damage to collagen fibers, which are crucial for maintaining skin strength. This damage may lead to the formation of the lesions observed in this condition. Sign number 10, 
Xanthalasma. Xanthalasma is a skin condition marked by the buildup of excess cholesterol, leading to the formation of flat or slightly raised yellowish growths around the eyelids. Although these deposits are generally harmless, they can indicate underlying health issues such as uncontrolled diabetes or high cholesterol levels. When individuals develop small reddish-yellow bumps across their bodies, it may point to an underlying metabolic disorder, with uncontrolled diabetes being a primary trigger. These skin manifestations underscore the close relationship between metabolic health and dermatological conditions, highlighting the need for comprehensive health assessments and management strategies to address the underlying issues associated with xanthalasma. Sign number 9. Scleroderma diabeticorum. Scleroderma diabeticorum is another skin sign of diabetes. It manifests as thickened, hardened skin, usually on the upper back and neck. This condition is more commonly seen in people with long-term diabetes and underscores the wide range of skin issues that can result from the disease. Effective management, including keeping good blood sugar levels, is essential for addressing scleroderma diabeticorum and preventing further complications. Sign number eight. Diabetic chiroarthropathy, commonly known as diabetic hand syndrome, is characterized by thickened, waxy skin on the palms, leading to reduced mobility and flexibility, particularly in the metacarpophalangeal MCP, and proximal interphalangeal PIP, joints. To diagnose this condition, clinicians use the prayer sign test, where patients bring their palms together in a praying position. Normally, the palms should make full contact. But if they don't do to restricted joint mobility and thickened skin, it may indicate diabetic hand syndrome. Another diagnostic test is the tabletop sign, where patients place their hands flat on a table. The hand should lay flat in unaffected individuals, but if it appears raised or does not make full contact, it suggests diabetic hand syndrome. While this sign is often associated with diabetes, it can also appear in conditions such as scleroderma, Dupuytren's contracture, and palmar fasciitis. Diabetic hand syndrome significantly impacts hand function and quality of life, making early recognition and intervention essential. Management strategies include optimizing blood sugar control, physical therapy to improve joint mobility, and treatments for skin thickening. Quick detection and care are essential to prevent diabetic hand syndrome from worsening and to keep hand function. What are you learning so far? Stay tuned as we uncover more skin signs related to diabetes. Sign number seven, skin tags, are common in the general population but occur more frequently in individuals with diabetes. However, having skin tags does not necessarily indicate diabetes. The precise cause of skin tags is unclear, but factors like insulin resistance, obesity, being overweight, and hormonal changes are thought to contribute to their development. It's important to note that while some people with diabetes may have more skin tags, most people with skin tags do not have diabetes. Genetic predisposition may also play a role, making individuals more prone to developing skin tags. In individuals with diabetes, skin tags usually appear as small, round, or oval-shaped growths. These typically appear on the lower legs, especially the shins, and may be light brown or reddish. They often appear slightly indented compared to the surrounding skin. Understanding the link between skin tags and diabetes can provide valuable health insights. However, the presence of skin tags should prompt further evaluation by a healthcare professional to check for any underlying metabolic or hormonal imbalances, particularly in individuals with other diabetes risk factors. Now, sign number six, sores, which can initially appear as small bumps or scrapes, pose a significant risk for individuals with diabetes, making regular foot and leg checks essential. These annual checks assess sensation in the legs and identify any developing sores or ulcers, which are crucial for maintaining optimal foot health in diabetic patients. Why are diabetics particularly susceptible to these complications? Several factors contribute to this vulnerability. Firstly, diabetic neuropathy, a common complication of diabetes, plays a significant role. This condition involves nerve damage that impairs the body's ability to perceive sensations properly. 
For instance, a healthy nervous system triggers an immediate withdrawal response when touching something hot. However, in individuals with diabetic neuropathy, this response is compromised, leading to decreased sensitivity to pain and pressure points. Consequently, areas prone to sores, bumps, or skin breaks may not trigger the usual protective responses of pain and discomfort, allowing these issues to worsen without immediate recognition. Additionally, people with diabetes often experience poor circulation and elevated blood sugar levels, further complicating the healing process. Reduced blood flow slows down the delivery of important nutrients and immune cells to the area, causing longer healing times and a higher risk of infections. An open wound provides an entry point for harmful pathogens, potentially leading to severe complications. Delayed wound healing heightens the risk of infection, underscoring the importance of prompt and vigilant wound care management for diabetic individuals. Before we reveal the five remaining skin signs, please subscribe to our channel if you find this video helpful. Like and share this video to help others recognize these vital skin signs. Thank you for your support. Sign number five, itchy skin. Itchy skin can result from several factors, such as dryness and poor circulation, both of which are especially concerning for individuals with diabetes. These issues are particularly prominent in people with diabetes. Sign number four, fungal infections, are common in warm, moist areas like the armpits, groin, under the breasts, and around the nails. The oral cavity is also prone to fungal overgrowth, leading to conditions like thrush. High blood sugar levels can impair the immune system, making people more prone to frequent fungal infections on the skin and in areas like the mouth and genitals. For those experiencing recurrent thrush infections or fungal infections on the skin or feet, it is important to see a doctor to check if diabetes is the cause. Fortunately, treating fungal infections associated with diabetes is usually straightforward and often involves antifungal creams. With proper medical intervention, these infections typically resolve within a few weeks. However, addressing the underlying diabetes is essential to prevent future infections and maintain overall health and well-being. Sign number three, diabetic dermopathy, is a common skin condition in individuals with diabetes, likely linked to harm to the small blood vessels that supply the skin. This vascular impairment can result in poor circulation, causing changes in the skin's look and structure. Additionally, alterations in the skin's structure, such as disruptions in collagen and other structural proteins, along with changes in the composition of the skin's supportive tissues, may contribute to the development of these characteristic patches. The combination of vascular dysfunction and structural changes in the skin is very important for the pathogenesis of diabetic dermopathy. Sign number two, the prevalence of bacterial infections is significantly elevated in individuals with diabetes, making them more susceptible to various skin infections, particularly staphylococcus infections. These can lead to conditions such as cellulitis, which is characterized by localized redness and warmth of the skin. If left untreated, cellulitis can progress and spread throughout the body, causing systemic symptoms like fever and malaise. Diabetics are also at a higher risk for other bacterial infections, including impetigo and folliculitis. Frequent occurrences of these infections should prompt careful evaluation for underlying diabetes, as they may be early indicators of the condition. Individuals experiencing recurrent bacterial infections should undergo a thorough medical assessment to rule out diabetes and begin appropriate management. Sign number one diabetic blisters. These fluid-filled lesions can appear suddenly on various body parts such as the fingers, toes, hands, feet, and occasionally the legs. They may result from factors like friction or neuropathy, which reduces sensation and prevents the individual from feeling irritation or injury to the skin. In some cases, skin blisters can also be a rare sign of long-standing diabetes. The occurrence of multiple blisters, especially if frequent or accompanied by other symptoms, requires immediate medical attention. Seeing a doctor for a full checkup is crucial to find the cause and start the right treatment. Early diagnosis and intervention are critical, as skin blisters can indicate systemic issues like diabetes and may need specific treatment to prevent complications. 
individuals experiencing recurrent or widespread blistering should seek medical evaluation promptly to address any underlying health concerns and ensure proper care and management. There you have it, the 14 skin signs associated with diabetes. Make regular skin checks a habit to protect your skin and catch potential issues early. Inspect your skin from head to toe, focusing on vulnerable areas like your feet to spot changes or irregularities that could indicate a diabetes-related condition. Managing your blood sugar levels is important for maintaining healthy skin as stable glucose levels prevent infections, strengthen your immune system, and improve circulation. Combine diet, exercise, and medication to keep your blood sugar in check. Even with diligent self-care, skin issues may still occur. So seek medical advice at the first sign of trouble to prevent minor problems from becoming major complications. Your healthcare team can help you manage your overall health and reduce diabetes-related complications. For a closer look at another crucial aspect of diabetes care, check out our video on 12 Vital Foot Signs of Diabetes You Should Be Mindful Of.